Hello Willowbrook and welcome to our Reading for Pleasure Assembly, part two. Firstly, I am flabbergasted by how brilliant your poems and response poems were. I was so impressed with all of your performance skills. But first, alongside all of your teachers, but especially Miss Smith and myself, I wanted to share our love of reading. And what I'm most excited about is that we're already on our second assembly, a celebrating reading. The purpose of our assemblies is to get us thinking and talking about our reading and doing something else that I love, which is recommending books and stories to each other. Reading for pleasure is not just about the reading that we do in class. It's about the reading that we do that makes us happy, that we want to do, not just the reading that we're told to do. But concentrate on the reading that makes us happy. Now, it could be fiction or non-fiction or even reading a blog. Anything you choose. But why is reading for pleasure so important? Well, it feeds our ima ima imagination. It makes us feel strong emotions. It gets us excited. It gets us feeling scared. It helps us develop our vocabulary. And above all else, it helps us to read more. Now, on to the rest of our Reading for Pleasure assembly. I'm going to share with you some of the best bits that I've been sent by all of our lovely Willowbrook teachers. That's right, your versions of the winter poem. Now, some of the recording technology that we've used does not maximise all of our children's voices. But we all know from our drama lessons that we speak loudly, clearly and bravely. And if we keep on trying our best, well, I promise by our next assembly we'll be even better. So without any further delay, I hope you enjoy. And please, please have a think about what reading you might like to recommend to all of us so that we can do it together for our next assembly. OK, enjoy and take care. The falling snow was beautiful and white. I dressed, sneaked down the stairs and opened wide the door. I had not seen such snow before. What was your suggestion? I dreamt last night. I dreamt last night. What was your idea? I had a dream last night. I had a dream last night. That's powdery and chilly snowman man clutched my leg. Let the hot chocolate flow. The blistering fresh hot chocolate flowing, flowing through my stomach while I'm, right, while I'm reading my booklet with money in my pocket. It was very chilly and frosty. I could see it wherever I go and it was white and powdery. I sniffed the cold Arctic air as it blew to the blows. In my head it started to go. I look in the sky, it seems as the clouds are living the same way. The sun has left, the clouds just came, it looks like this town. Frosty falling flakes, there to show me the snow. The Polish glung snowball makes sure to aim for those all. The icicles shot down through all over town all over the town. The sun smiles while spinning speedily while my mother is feeding me. The pulpy silky pillow as white as snow. People really get the flow. The on the on raging blizzard feels like there's a wizard. I don't want it to end as I meant. Also alliteration! Not much snow, but I go with the flow. I see a snowball flat as a pancake. Ooh, look, there's a snowflake. I see a snowflake crossing the road. Am I, I am confused. Is there a code? I'm making a call, but then, but then I see a snowy sparkling snowball. The snow is white as a polar bear, but my friends don't. I flung open the door, loud and proud. Took a long stare, jaw dropped, then frowned. Where had the beautiful, elegant someone, my garden, no longer shone? Where were the flowers? Where was the love? No more bumblebees buzzing in the trees. I was a majestic angel in the sun. Now that beauty had just all gone. My nose is now red, my fingertips are numb. A winter winter, what happened? Amazing! Expressions in your voice. Ah! Little snow is really, it's 
beginning to glow. It's white and very, very bright. It was freezing cold outside, but I felt like I was in a whole new world. My brother woke up. He joined me. It was icy and cold. I didn't care. My friends came over. We built a snowman. Woke up in a world of snow. No one had been out, just pure snow, which was frothy that it glowed. I called my friends and we built a gigantic snowman. When the dawn arrived, we left. And then the grass was here and the snow disappeared. It was just too beautiful. I, I couldn't take myself away from it. I saw it glow. I love that snow. I like the way you use personification. <laughs> we drank hot chocolate as the snow glitters outside, and we watched the ice kissed floor. As I fall asleep, I hear the door creak. Footsteps are heard on the way. I walk downstairs feeling weak and I see presents under the tree and in one, two, three, I open mine up and see something, something I've always, always wanted, a toy puppy. When winter was bright as light, while I wait for my slumber, hearts of me fade away as I see children play. I wish I was evergreen, they always so clean, as I wait for spring, I suffer the cold. It's as bitter as the Atlantic. I was awake last night due to the big bright sky, so me and the moon laughed all night. As it snowed the white as my globe, watching the flakes kept me awake. I thought I had learned all there was to know about frosting falling flakes of snow. As I creaked downstairs and opened the door, never have I seen before birds chirping in the trees like this movement. Don't forget to stand in neutral. Snowflakes. I felt more excited. I thought we can play, play in snow. I slept last night. The falling snow was white as cotton. I dressed in Gucci Mackenzie. I had not seen the cars. Our dry street died. The world was snowy, and everywhere, everywhere there was were covered. I felt peaceful watching the snow. It was a great using of. A simile. Great! One, two, three. I did not see last night. The morning sun was beautiful and bright. I dressed and Such snow. Good. Look at the snow 
What should we read next? Have a think about a good story or poem that you like. What story or poem could we share with our school next time? Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>